food. I'm sure most of you guys have been there, especially you guys who live in the United States. But the chart is starting to look good. And uh, a level, a break over this level of 290 is very bullish. Uh, it is 292 right now. And you do see like a spike of, to where there was a 298 test up here. So I think this stock, now that it's actually had a close at 292, I think this stock is a good risk reward to a, uh, a potential break over $3. I think if you get an entry in an entry under maybe 295, 296, uh, and put a stop loss at about 290, I think you have a good possibility of this thing running past three bucks with a target being somewhere around 310 to 320. I think that this could be a level that you could see um, a move to here. So I think that there's definitely some type of run here that um, we're going to see. I like the indicators. I like the Sochastics. I like the RSI. I think this is going to be a good one. So just definitely put this on your watch list. It's kind of a slow mover like VG, but um, uh, you know you can't mistake the uh, you know the chart pattern. You see that the moving average here, uh, the 200-day uh, moving average, the 200-day EMA, and now the 10-day 10 e EMA is crossing over. All the moving averages are kind of curling up here, and it looks like it's about ready to break out or pop up here. GMXR is another one of these chart patterns. Reminds me kind of like BWIN the other day. Uh, it reminds me a lot about BWIN. So, um, you know, you see the, the move from 8 to 6, and it's just tanked down here. What is it, $4 and something? Uh, coming off of oversold levels, this stock is ready to pop. The 10-day EMA, it closed over it. The 10-day EMA is 423. It closed at 432. This one might be the next one to have a spike, just like uh, BWEN did today, BWEN. Uh, you have uh, some resistance here at this level. You have, uh, you know, like a possible, this would be like a possible first target. I don't know why this isn't sticking here, but oh well. 50-day uh, EMA is at about 5 bucks. I think you're going to see a spike here from 470 to, I don't know, about 5 bucks or so. Just look at these indicators. I think that this thing's about ready to make a pop here. I like the risk reward because your stop loss should be uh, probably about 410 or so. I know there's a double bottom here. I wouldn't want to wait until it touches that double bottom, but your stop loss should be about 410, 420, something like that. But your upside reward is anywhere from 475 to 5, I think. So it uh, looks pretty good here. Another one of these types of chart patterns, since they seem to be working out pretty good in this market, is OCNX.